So this is the grand final of the Crossfire Christmas One Day Cup organized by Homie. It was Dog against Roz. For Dog, we had Chris, Crumbs, Raz, Sharky Clown, and Matter. And for Roz, we had Mini, H2O, Murky, Parcher, Viz, and Elsa. I was joined once again on the mic by Tosspot. Enjoy the game. Yeah, let's get this underway. It is Beach, it is Dog versus Roz. And uh, it will be uh, the Roz side to start on the Allies, who uh, will lead up with Parcher charging towards the seawall breach. And uh, he will dodge grenades and toss his dynamite down. Another inbound grenade coming from Crumbs there, but uh, he will be pushed back by the Allied side. FFE is down on that uh, seawall door, and there's no sign of a, a dynamite just yet. So yeah, that was some nice nade spam. We didn't see that too much when we saw Beach before. He was just timing. Oh, there's going to be a wall boost here from the Allies, and they are going to be able to get their hands on the flag. Really nice work. I think he's just going to sneak it. He's just going to hold on to... Oh, he's just going to sit in the flag room. I'm not sure who it is. They don't know he's in there It's yet. Mini. <laughs> it's Mini, and he went up against someone with a Sten. Um, I, I, great play from Mini there, because they, it was a long spawn by the time he got in there. They had no idea it was. I can't really work out who it was who had the Sten, but there's a weapon you don't... Uh, you don't always see, but uh, Parcher is charging through Axis Spawn and uh, is going to make his way down the short stairs, waiting to see. I don't think the Allies, yeah, they, they must have a spawn time by now. Parcher is waiting, Seawall is breached, Parcher will wait up and then toss his grenade and uh, in the end he dives on his own grenade and is not that effective. But Allies have the documents, Crumbs and Matter are on the stairwell to try and hold this one back and this is, this is all going to be bit Pete Tong for the dog side so far. Well, H2O is making his way up the back stairs, and within a minute and a half, they're already putting pressure on the radio room with the objective, so... And it does look like he wants to make a move. He's watching his back, he's not making the same mistakes that Flower did on, on Village, but he's making his move toss pot. Here he goes. And they've got Murky beneath as well with the Panzer. H2O is just going to charge on in! Oh! Can he get to the document? No! He can't quite get to the radar, uh, to the radio. I can't believe it. They had a Panzer beneath Murky who vaporized himself. I actually think he could have got there. I think he just paused or hesitated after getting that first kill and uh, ran to the wrong side of the room. But that could have been a, a three minute time. Yeah, it, it would have been. Uh, or two minutes. It would have been two extremely minutes, yeah. fast. And what's worse is Chris didn't have his gun out when he walked in. So Chris had to body block him on the line. And Dog have just been given a massive, massive let off. They should they should. And they wouldn't have got the flag as well. Yes. So like, here's the recovery. This is going to be clown on comms just saying, you know, calm it down. Sharky as well. Very good at that. Just calm it down and let's just get ourselves back together. Guess what they don't know though. They don't know that Parcher has gone walkies and he is in the war room waiting to collect the documents. Allies capture the Ford bunker, the Axis have no idea that there's someone down there and they're going to wait to try and get some people out on spawn or, or wait to see if they go aggressive. Matt is going to fire down that panzer, didn't actually connect with anyone and the Allies have now picked up that document in the shape of Parker and Dog realized that they've got a, a dog on job to return. Parcher's just going to go short. He's just charging straight up there and going head to head with Crumbs. And, uh, well, just decided, you know what, why didn't I do it all myself? And he was probably 50 health points away from finishing off the job. I think he was just trying to take them by surprise. He, he I've, I've seen a lot of people sneak through before and just be there for too long. I think it's better to just maybe wait for 10, 15 seconds, try and time it to a certain extent, but don't make your team have to attack for five for the next two, three minutes. So it was a good idea from Parcher, but it just didn't pay off. But this dog seems like it's on its last legs right now because the, uh, well, the Ross team had been all over them, but they've now reclaimed the forward bunker, and that's a, that's a big win. Murky's double pans, though, does take down Chris and Clown, but only on a two, three second spawn, so not super effective. And now it'll be uh, Ross with Mini to lead the charge down into the war room. Expect to see some... Uh, Axis bodies down there soon, but there are two allies there to help take it, and three allies there out there to take it. Mini's going to take it short because he's got the bodies. I think there's another ally to the left, and uh, Roz with Mini and Viz will begin to walk it up the short stairwell. Murky has a grenade kill elsewhere, and this is Roz's moment to finally take set the time 4:23, and to say it had been coming would be an understatement. What a performance from Roz! I'm going to be honest, I think that's just a bonus two minutes for Dog because 
they were just knocking at the door constantly. There was no dog defense at all. There was no dog defense at all. The best thing that dog did was reclaim the flag like twice. Everything <laughs> else melted. Yeah. It's, it, it just didn't work. And Roz were just given too much freedom on the back stairs to just take, go down. And it was only maybe one guy getting down and getting the objective, but the rest of the team were doing a great job just cleaning up frags. It kind of a struggle because I think I was just following the wrong people to try and work out where the holes were in that doggone defense. But it was, uh, there was nothing there. They were, it was porous. I mean, they they pushed towards the radio like twice with the objective and there was like one or two people there both times, like you say. And I think the last time it was just Sharky alone on the radio stairs. It's the last one alive. If I scroll up, I mean, they're just dying. They're just getting picked off too easily. I mean, it, it's not like a huge Panzer shot. It's one, one kill with the Panzer. It's just, I don't know, maybe they're not close enough for the revives. Maybe they're just being caught out just a little bit. That, that split second... You know, that that hesitation can make a big difference. They because lacked it, your leadership, Mel. Uh, well, we, we didn't actually have leaders Prepare when we played, fight. but uh, yeah. <laughs> Just take the compliment. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see whether every dog can have its day. As uh, Roz will have to defend their 4 minute and 22 time. And uh, the start with Elsa as a sniper, and he will get picked off by Sharky on his opposite number. What a great hit that was. The moment Elsa poked his head off, it was taken off. Double axis SFE on the breach, but a quick plant on the seawall door. And uh, Dark have uh, been met with little resistance so far. Yeah, Sharky is easily one of the best snipers to play the game. He's so good as an anti-sniper as well. So taking out other team snipers, really, really good at dueling. They have gone for try for that boost, but it's not going to work. They're not going to do what uh, Roz did the last round. So the plants have gone down. Just under four minutes remaining. It's it's still anyone's game. I think Beach can still be won pretty quickly. So it's just about flag control. They have to hold on to that flag for the remaining three minutes of the game. Yeah, if they can do that, and if they get make sure they don't get caught out on long spawns, then do the Axis have a real chance to close this one out, or, or should close it. And they've uh, made sure that no one can get in there right now. Sharky still raining in sniper shots on those Axis bodies. And Dog get the flag right on the Axis spawn time. Who wait and in fact, Dog have respawned. So we will now get a full middle stage of this map. Murky uh, picks up the Panzer kill onto Clown. There was a lot more bodies there for him if he wanted them. But uh, the Allies have split from what I can see in the trenches. Three to the right and one short. But I think there's more than that going short. Panther from Dog go, does little. Someone's going to try and run and grab that flag, but won't get it. And now you'll see uh, the dog side with Chris leading the charge up the top. It's going to be Minnie who's going to have to deal with all of it. And Minnie has got a lot of players to deal with. And uh, in the end, a double team self kill. And we are left with another attack. Dog now have four players going around the long way. Raz opens up with a Thompson frag onto Viz. Murky's Panzerfaust avenges, but coming up long into the balcony will be Crumbs, who's going to be met with a grenade, but uh, both he and Clown will get out of there, and they'll make their way down those back stairs with 215 on the board. Clown is uh, going up against a... I think it's a Axis Lieutenant. It was Mini, and Mini's MP40 did the job, but reinforcements are there, and the three of them will go through. Sharky does spot someone coming down back. The flag has been captured, and that's going to leave Dog between with these three players having to make this count. As uh, Matter is in the Axis locker room, if you will. Allies pick up the... Uh, documents and now we'll drop down. Matter has the opportunity to play a big panzer shot here. Kind of giving away his position by going out for that gib. Ally still rolling around with that uh, documents against one Axis player. It's Parcher who is hitting Luger shot after Luger shot. Those three Axis players still alive. Viz makes that one less and now they will begin to push in. 123. Flag reclaimed. Murky's panzer hits on Raz. Documents still running down in the bottom. And you'll see uh, Viz with kind of a blind grenade thrown in. He charges in. And the, axe, the allied side are beginning to move it out. And as long as they keep that lieutenant up, these three players are going to be in tip-top shape. So three players, one minute and five with the dock as they will slowly escort it out. It's Chris who's the lieutenant that's scorching the way. Parcher just needs to stay alive and get knowledge. The team, His team needs to know where, it, where those docks are. And he's the one who's going to help them find out. As 
The Ducks still have not left downstairs with 48 seconds left to go. The Allies uncommitted on whether they're going top or bottom. Chris is the one leaving, leading that charge out, and he's trying to make it up towards the short stairs. They've lost Clown. Sharky is the man who's going to have to go through. Raz is put, picking up damage elsewhere. Matter the Panzer has respawned, and we'll now see Sharky try to push those short stairs. I'm trying to find the documents which I've lost momentarily, as uh, Crumbs is who has it uh, at the bottom of the short stairwell. As they push in, Chris's grenade opens up the door, and the double panzer fast from Murky leaves Crumbs all on his own. He begins the run now. He's one level up the stairs. He's got an Axis body that's seen him, and he's being shot down from above, and he is dead, but his teammate lives on. Clown is still up. Chris picks up the documents, and Chris returns to the bottom of the stairwell. Chris is a lieutenant, though, and cannot get any help, and he's being dropped down. Documents return before Raz can drop on top of them. Raz will get nothing but a vengeance frag, as the dog side just could not wag that tail all the way up to the radio. Man, I, I don't know how Dog held on for so long in, in the war room. They had zero backup, zero reinforcements. They had lost the flag, so any respawning uh, allied players were not were not getting to them. It was just as simple as that. They had to hold there. You, like you said, the lieutenant was key. Keep them ammo up. Just keep everybody alive. They did the, the, the start perfect. I think they missed time their push a little bit. You saw Sharky and Crumbs, and I think I think it was Chris. They held back, and a couple of players went a bit too aggressive. They waited until that last spawn. The thing about Beach is, because it's such a long spawn, they can have a last spawn, and it was on like 35 seconds left. That was the last time that the Axis would spawn, so kills would be out for the rest of the game. And they just didn't have enough firepower at that point, and, and that two frag on the stairs... It just basically, it just ended the game for them. They had too many players alive at the end of What you did see there from those three players who had the documents was you saw their teamwork, you saw their pedigree. You know, they are good players who know how to play together. Um, they just in the end came up slightly too short. Ross have taken the lead. We're on, the, we're on to round number two. And uh, it's now on the dogs to set themselves a time. What does dog stand for, uh, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. I think it might even just be dog. It's, it's, it's probably Clown and, and Knight who've come up with that one, so they've used that tag quite a bit. Engineer was killed right before he could... Oh, no, he did get that dynamite planted. Uh, there's an FFE on it, which, which will also stop uh, any Axis Engineer doing his job as well. Um... And so we'll see both dynamites blow shortly with uh, seven, well, well, blow at about seven minutes. FFE goes in and uh, the dog side prevented from going through the seawall breach. They'll try and make their way over towards the flag via the door. H2O is the one going up and I think H2O more than anything is just doing a scouting mission. Allies collect that flag. 20 seconds until they respawn. And the two Axis players being chased down by Clown. And Clown may well get knifed here. In the end, it's the Luger that does the job, but the Axis self-kill out and respawn. Sharky's still raining in a few sniper shots, but you suspect he will self-kill and switch classes as he does exactly that. And the allied side has spawned. The Panzer was a millisecond too early. The invulnerability was too hot, still on. And uh, we, we march on. Big push coming towards the barracks. Massive crossfire from the Axis. And the strike is actually really poor. There could be some team kills here. It's actually not going to get any team damage at all. But the respawning Axis at barracks are going to just clean up as Viz, I think, picked up like four kills there. Really nice play from him. And they just had too many people in that, in that area. They seem to be closing in on any pushes, which is kind of what you need to do on beach. Especially if they try and take control of that, that barracks area. Sharky will lead the charge up top uh, for Dog, as he has Buddy to his left, and the two of them will fire a few, sh few shots over towards the radio room and get themselves a kill. Now it's Sharky thinking there's another one to be had. Grenade is going to push him back, and in the end it's a three-man crossfire that take him down, but there's a lot of other Dog players still standing. They self-kill and uh, start again. This is where you want to see an explosive from the uh, Axis side. Their support fires are a little too late, their Panzers are a little too early, and they're not breaking up the Allied enough. Um, for, for at least my liking, as uh, there are four dog players coming inside to make their way eventually down the back stairs if they get there. And uh, Days of Glory is what dog stands for, apparently. Um, okay. 
And now you'll see Clown leading the charge. Axis have reclaimed the four bunker if they can finish off this allied attack. But there are three players there, and they, they got it right on the allied spawn, in fact. So the three players that are there, the three medics that are there, have little ammunition to do damage, but they do have six legs between them and a lot of needles. They do also have a grenade, so they have got a chance to push up the radio stairs if they so wish. Ooh. Panzer comes out from Murky. And this is where the reinforcement issue is going to come in. Murky's doing some a good job. And look, this is why I said Axis is just just 100%. If there's an issue, they just all focus on it. You get three or four people just swarm that area. And they just, just yep. to clean it up. The Axis have a problem, though. There's a five-man respawn from Dog coming up the back to go down the, the, the back stairs. And they, in fact, I think the Axis players have respawned. Murky's Panzer Faust across the top hits two of them. And uh, Mini is the one who's going to charge in and try and stop that becoming uh, a revive chain. He doesn't quite get there. And uh, it's H2O now who will go it alone. They need to finish off. I think it's Sharky in there. This is double support fire. Does get out Matter and Crescent. What I thought was about to be a, a good attack from Dog has petered out. And we're down to just 3 minutes and four, 40 on the clock. I think that the Roz team do have a couple of people out for full, or at least for 20 seconds, three. And there's a lot of dog players making their way towards the back stairs. I think they have a lieutenant with them as well, so ammo shouldn't be too much of a situation. Raz has massively pushed ahead, and he has been gibbed, so they're, they're down one in the numbers. I think Chris maybe is actually the only LT, and he's making his way towards the back stairs now, so they should get their hands on the objective. And Clown's on the... Uh, on the radio stairs as we speak. Whichever Axis medic was who got the gib on that, that was that's that's a magnificent move. Like knew he's gonna die, knew but knew that he could you know stop a three man dock run, and eventually it's now a one man dock run. That one man has taken it all the way up the back and uh, is where exactly I've completely lost him. He's on inner steps. He has got someone. H two O has shut him down. He, he kind of just had to run for it because he was gonna he was gonna get pincered. They were gonna chase. But H2O managed to find him on, on the inside steps. So the objective has been secured. Panzer potential from Matter isn't going to happen. And the flag has actually been claimed by the Axis, but will be reclaimed just in time. And they're doing a really good job with flag control just to make it annoying, make one player have to go back every time or make them spawn on the beach, which is really great on, on here on this map because obviously such short amount of time left. Yeah, good, good play from Roz here. The defense has been pretty resolute and I do go back to that kill and give that really changed the dynamic of the one time that they were well breached they've got three players out on top they've got a strong what, what I guess you'd call an advanced crossfire out down towards the flag the self kill and set themselves up again dog are gonna send a couple players down the back but uh, not gonna get anywhere as uh, crumbs is picked off by h2o and Ross definitely seem to have raised their aim a little bit in uh, this second match well, they're going to be massively warmed up at this point. You know, you're, you've just played seven rounds. There's no excuse in, in terms of individual um, performance. And they're, they're basically a team of individual performance. So it's going to be, that was a massive beneficial game for them. We do have Sharky in the basement. He has only got a pistol. And Clown has come down short as well. He's got seven bullets. And uh, he's given away his position, actually. They didn't know he was there. And uh, he picks off H2O. Full spawn for H2O. Ooh. And there's a huge hit from Matter. That's three down. And this is a long spawn. And this has to be the opportunity for Dog. As Clown picks up those documents and is waiting for someone to say, come short. Return fire has come in in the shape of Murky and Viz getting kills. But a uh, lot of players down. The Allies is waiting to tell Clown he can come up those back stairs. 60 seconds to go. Well, I'm specking Murky just because it's basically on him. There is one player on the short stairs. And you can see Murky just scouting out. He's going to know that the push is going to be coming. He's oh. actually been dropped. Raz been picked off. Documents coming in in the shape of Clown. Axis respawn is now. Panzerfaust went too early. Chris's double grenade helps. We're running out of Axis bodies here. But they are back and they are reviving. And those documents have still not been moved in. Mini picks up MP40 frags. Murky's grenade picks off Clown. And the objective has been secured. And uh, that was their moment. And they just dithered slightly too long. Should have maybe waited at the bottom of shore. I, I don't know. I really, I can't really question that too much. But you get four on full spawn on beach, and you don't take advantage. I, uh, you can't, you can't do that basically. 
The kill in basement was really, really fortunate, but the three-man panzer on top. And you don't set a time. This is just to set a time as well, and, and the best they can come out of beach with now is a 1-0 to zero deficit. Or 2-0, to zero, which is probably where it's going to go, considering how well Roz is playing right now. Yeah. That from... Uh, that from... Look, you, you can cite the age of the game and, and the activity of the game as a reason as to why Doc maybe made those mistakes, but that was there for the taking, and that was an opportunity where you would expect, and I look at a player like Clown, who is a very, very intelligent 6v6 team player, to call and to lead the team through when they are playing essentially against two players. But uh, wasn't to be. Raws have gotten their head. They, they did have a, just a slight um, issue in terms of the respawning allies. They weren't really in position quick enough. But he, he was there like two seconds too late. And I think he probably just waited at the top of back stairs. But the next the next half of the round is about to begin. Here we go. Dog have to hold. Otherwise, they are staring down the barrel. And uh, let's see what they've got. It will be murky to get picked off as he tries to push forward. Dynamite is yellow from H2O as he puts it in on the seawall breach and there ain't nothing they can do about that. So they're going to turn their attention towards the door. They have got engineers in position and they are just spamming grenades in towards the bunker. So they should get this plant down. Strike has gone off, but there is a second engineer just to finish this off. So the, the first objectives are out of the way reasonably quickly. But Crumbs is well known for the defuses on Breach. He is, or he was, lurking around. He has actually spawned up as a medic, so no defuse action here on Beach. But, um, yeah. Talk to me about Chris and his love of the Sten. Well, Sten is really good long range, obviously, to... You can take down snipers, but I don't think Chris is the same sort of Chris that he was once upon a time in terms of... He was an amazing aimer, so... A, a damning verdict from former one soldier teammate Merlin. The tabloids will have a field day with that. <laughs> I think I think I'm, I'm giving a compliment that he was that good. That it's going to take a while to get that good oh. again. Right? No. There's the, there's the Alistair Campbell spin. Okay. <laughs> As uh, Mini is uh, taking fire from left, right, and center in the trenches, he pushes ahead. Murky's Panzer goes in, and uh, we'll see. Sharky and Chris picked themselves up a uh, a kill or two, and uh, Chris is going through bully from uh, from the last match on the flower side. Oh, Matta hits a triple panzer uh, onto the Roz side, and that's exactly what Doc need. They could do with another ten of those to help them push on, and uh, Roz are going to have to make sure they just don't lose that flag. Um, bully from the last game was saying in chat, so far this game doesn't make them look too bad, and. I'd agree. Right now, Ross and Flower look like the, the two form teams. As, uh, the Axis side have held on to, uh, sorry, the Allied side have held on to the flag, and not let uh, Dog push out. Matter though, with another double Panzer, and uh, he's uh, starting to click. If he Five. can consistently get these these Panzer shots off, it will pretty much it could secure the, the double full hold at least. He needs to get those two mans, those three mans every spawn though. And that's, I mean, you know what it's like on beach with the Panzer. It's, it's very doable, you know. And I think Matta is, is much more experienced than Murky with the Panzer. Just like Fro was, to be fair. Fro was much more experienced, so. You and I both know how skilled and talented uh, you have to be to be a good Panzer. And how intelligent. Um, <laughs> and how good looking, right? Yeah. That is that was my next line, yeah. <laughs> um, as... Uh, Crumbs and Vizzle exchange. Matter drops the grenade on top. Matter actually worried about someone coming through short, I think. And he's now got five seconds to push out, hit something, and then self-kill. And what he hits is a double. Murky waiting in the Axis spawn. What damage can he do? Fires up to the roof. Absolutely nothing. Another. Matter hits another double off the spawn. And Raz's MP40 picks off Murky. Murky had an opportunity there to be an impact player. And uh, in the end, all that he impacted was his nose. Four and a half minutes to go, and the dog side now look like they uh, like the team we were expecting them to be. As uh, 
Parcher picks up a double Thompson on players moving down towards the flag. Clown is going to be the one charging it. He uh, drops the support fire in, pushes in on the flag, but uh, won't get there in time. His support fire was more as a nuisance, if not. Where is Madder? I thought I saw him poke his head up, but uh, the allies have escaped the spawn without him. Manta self kills, and uh, Axis will regroup. Sharky may be down for a long spawn. No, the allies will not be able to give him out, but uh, they have lost a medic for it as. Uh, Bras pick themselves up a couple of kills. Now they have an opportunity to go down the back. As uh, they lead in. Parcher, Murky all picking up kills. Raz will self-kill and regroup. H2O is the one pushing down towards those documents. But there are Axis players abound. Who are we looking at down at the docks? It is uh, Sharky. And George? No, it's H2O. H2O is going to come in, find Sharky, picks him off straight away with that ACP. And there are three players from Roz who have the support of those documents. Murky's double panzer is going to open the door for them as well. Let's see what they can do. They've made a real dog's dinner of the document defense. Do they have anything else? Clown's going to come out on the top of the stairwell. Says hello to Minnie and will get the kill. Not the gib in the end. And he has been dropped. Now will they run these documents over the top? There can't be many Axis players left standing. One of them is there. One of them is the Panzer. Here come reinforcements. And Viz's double Thompson frag with the help of H2O have finished off this dog's side. And that will be two maps to zero. And Roz looking good. Looking really good. If you look in the console, just really nice dominance pretty much from every single player. Everyone doing their part. You're seeing 14, you know, 12 to, to, to 18 frags between most of them. Obviously, the Panzer's always going to be ahead. Whereas you look across the other team, there are some strugglers in terms of, you know, just getting out fragged a little bit. The Panzer, Mata, was doing some great work on that defense. It was hitting, you know, three mans, two mans, two mans, two mans. And we thought potentially that could be enough, but it just it just isn't the case. So five minutes isn't too bad, to be fair, but their attack was just so poor. They, it was always going to be an uphill struggle. It is definitely an attacking map, I feel, here on Beach. Well, you said it in that uh, in your analysis of Matt. He had to keep hitting those shots. And the moment we went 60 seconds without him hitting it, the uh, the uh, volume of allies was too strong. Yeah, I, I did spectate him with one shot. He got kind of unfortunate where the airstrike, I think, or a grenade blasted one of the people he was aiming at into the air. So it kind of messed up his, his shot and... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all about... It's all, this is massive firepower team. That's what Roz brings to the table. And if they're all alive, the firepower is just obviously massively increased. And they're just, they're just good shooters. And they work together really well as well. So they played together for a long time. So that's going to be the case. And like you say, this, the second he didn't hit that shot, they were all over the basement. And it was just an easy run home. I, I was spectating from h point of view. He didn't really even see anybody. So it was all cleared out for him. So, Dog have picked Village. Um, yeah. Now, two ways to look at it. Honestly, I think Roz were slightly fortunate to beat Flower on this map. Um, but they beat it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but you could argue as well that D Roz are nice and warmed up for this. Yeah. So sure. which which way do you lean? I, I I would pro obviously lean towards Roz here just because they've got a two to zero lead. They're like they're going to be they're going to be bouncing. Uh, you know, they're going to be really really up for this. I think it's going to be very hard for Dog. They are defending first, so I think this first attack could really set the pace. Well, let's see. Matt is going to have to have a big big round as he uh, will be the one to lead the damage. Roz were so susceptible to the Panzer last time around. This time they seem to have learned someone actually paused and didn't just run in. And it's, uh, oh wow, Viz. Oh wow, the, the grenade on the, on, the, on the gate didn't work. Viz killed himself. And then the second grenade was too short. But in the end, the third grenade got Roz uh, over, the, uh, uh, over the hurdle. But there are certainly Certainly is an Axis defense waiting for them now. Panzerfaust fired in, doesn't connect, and that is going oh. to be the end of that. What just happened? They just all he killed ran each him. other. Well, he ran in with a grenade primed, and then got killed with it in his hand. It's one of the worst attacks on Tavern I've ever seen. Well, when you factor in they couldn't get the grenade right, it's just <laughs> the worst attack ever. Yeah. And this is this is pretty much what we saw on the, on the last one where they, they they started to struggle, 
and I think they're very much a confidence team. So we'll see how they, re you know, how they respond. And it's only the first minute, so they've got, they've just got to chill out a little bit. Viz is the one leading the charge to the flag. Matt hits a double Panzerfaust. Murky responds with a double of his own. Revives going in. Viz picks up an ACP kill onto Sharky. His teammate George will revive him. And they charge on towards the flag. Four allied players alive. One Axis man was there. I think he has got himself out of harm's way. And, uh, well, from 30 seconds on from us criti criticizing the Ross team for the comical errors, they've taken the flag and they'll be feeling pretty good about life. Um... As uh, Clown wipes out Chris, his teammate. But he had only a two second spawn, fortunately. Dog will be very good at reclaiming that flag. And we've noticed, or at least I noticed, that Roz does not have someone defending it. So they it could potentially lose out because of this. There we go. A lot of team kills going in. Some of them, I'm going to guess, were. Uh, uh, strikes as uh, Raz is going to push in and just to your point the flag is under threat Parcher is uh, helping it out murky and holding on to it and both teams will self kill and we will start this one again dog get themselves into position in the graveyard as uh, the allied support fires are out Viz leads the charge and uh, Murky and H2O have picked themselves up some early frags as this assault begins to take shape. They make their way forward and it'll be a big hit coming in as Clown goes down. Clown brought a lot of the noise in uh, the last defense. As you'll see now, um, the support fire of Sharky wipe out everything with a pulse, including teammates and opponents. And we reset and just to your earlier point, Mel, Clown is going around the back to try and get that flag. The allies do have control of the crypt right now, and they do have an engineer, so there's a silver lining should they lose the flag. Dynamite is planted. Now, can anyone stop Clown? Because he is right on top of that flag, and he will collect it for the oh. Axis team. Almost missed it. Almost. Almost. And so they've got an opportunity for a defuse here. They have got an engineer as well. It is Clown at the flag, so he's going to be just telling them to clear, clear it out for him. And they probably won't expect it to be Clown, if I'm honest. He has managed to yeah. just dodge around Murky, I believe. He has actually been taken down, so no defense. Well, he got taken down, but the grenade pushed him. I mean, had he had five more seconds, the grenade on top of the revive actually flew him towards the crypt. It could have been a uh, big benefit for him. Allies have the flag back. Axis have reclaimed it, and there's a bit of to and fro going on there, but Dog are mainly set up for a crypt defense now. So I think this has already started much better than what Ross. <laughs> Murky and Mata jump past one another and vaporize themselves, missing their panzer shots and uh, hitting the walls beside one another. You... You'll watch a lot of RTCW before you see that one again. <laughs> they, they didn't want to kill each other with the one man. They wanted to kill all the people behind them. Unfortunately, there's no one behind each other, so... Yeah. Dark will sit, set themselves up. Elsa's support fire takes down Clown. Panzerfaust from Manta this time connects onto H2O. Berkey will return the favor with one of his own. It's Sharky that goes down. Chris is the one doing the damage. The gold has been picked up, and Chris is going to push down into the wine cellar and uh, stop that gold moving. If it's up, it is. It's with Biz, and Chris is not going to get anywhere. And uh, the dog side have pushed out. Sharky is the one who could come from behind. So I struggle to find Viz. Mini is the one at the flag trying to stop allied reinforcements, but they get it. And uh, Viz has both ammo and uh, medics to uh, carry this document with him. So Roz are well and truly out, but Dog are also well set up. Yeah, this is more like the defense you expect. A bit of a misplaced artillery from from Clown, I feel, or at least a bit early. Um, but it, it, this is the sort of defense that you kind of expect in this courtyard. And you do see I agree, though. I think it's a, lined up. a bit early. And uh, losing shocking matter early on leaves Clown on his lonesome. He does have reinforcements coming out now. Murky makes sure goes nowhere. That other Axis player has been picked off. Reinforcements now coming as Parcher comes through. And there are four ally players to run this document home. Ooh, any Axis left? I don't think so. I haven't heard the whine of a Panzer in a while from them though, but the documents will run past the gate and it will be a run home from H2O to set a good time at just under six minutes.
Not as fast as they did before, but not, not much different. Only a minute and a half slower. But en like I say, anything sub six, seven minutes on, on village, you're, you're happy with. And I think it's going to be really difficult to break down their tavern defense. The Axis are going to really struggle that. Unless they get that initial impact, like with a Panzer, and the initial push through is really strong, I think once Roz get dug in, it's going to be so hard to break that down. So you're, you're going to have to have Dog pushing towards that spawn really early just to, to rotate that tavern defense a little bit. Because, like I said, this is so strong on the guns. They're just going to be really, really hard to break down and the crossfire. And they, they, I think they probably play five players as well at tavern rather than the four. Well, with, what, six minutes to play for, Roz will perhaps have learned their lessons from the, the games against Flower and the holes that were exposed in Flower, uh, or by Flower. We'll see. But reminder, if you're just joining us, it's six minutes or bust if Dog want to keep playing on TCW because this they have they were completely wiped out on beach. And this would, uh, a full hold here or a full defense of their six minute time would give Roz all they need to finish the to finish the game. So, uh, do you think Dog can come, come back from this? <laughs> it's going to be really difficult. I'm, I'm sticking with Roz. I'm sticking with Roz. Can I switch? Uh... <laughs> you can't. You can't leave your, your former teammates. <laughs> uh, I, I agree with what you said. They needed you out there. No, I did. What did I say that? What? I, I don't Not in as I many words, but but it was implied. Oh, it's implied. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Do you know I what I think people should do in chat? I think they should go to the top right of your channel and they should hit the prime sub on your channel. Because there's 200 people here. If 200 people gave you a prime sub, that's a thousand dollars. Wow, that that would that would be really handy actually. Yeah. So, everyone, be really handy. And go and prime sub to Merle. Let's go. We're underway. Can Merlinator's former teammates uh, then avoid a wipeout defeat to a Roz side who have two players playing from across the pond and have uh, been made sh uh, and who are making sure that there's a story for every underdog? We line up for that first tavern assault which will come through. I'm on board with Murky and his panzer as he lines up, fires out, connects with Raz. And the Scotsman can go no further as uh, more grenades just get tossed out to that front door and uh, the Roz side lie in wait. Murky reloads. Wait, he's going to get a second bite of that cherry. And uh, you'll see Mini and Parcher picking up MP40 frags as the allies begin to enter but uh, and begin to take a bit of territory as well. Sharky's got himself one before self-killing and the Axis will think that they've just about gibbed out this attack. I think there's maybe one ally player left. Murky fired off a hand of shot in vain, but the allies that are coming, it's only Chris that's, that's there. Where did that next attack go, Mel? It is going towards the tavern. The, all those kills, you did see a kill out right as uh, as the last of the push came in. So they, I think it was Sharky tried to drop a nade, didn't connect. And it did get a kill, but the revive came in. So we do see a big push coming towards tavern once more. Five players outside, maybe six as they begin to move. Does Murky have a shot lined up? Because they are waiting for the hit. Grenade goes in. They didn't quite get the kill or the give onto uh, Clown, who's downed again. Matter goes through. H2O and Biz both pick up kills. And this is where the Allied side begin to make progress as they charge further and further forward. H2O's Luger picks himself up one. And there are three uh, players from the Allies who are waiting. And you just feel in the case of Murky there with that Panzer is that had he just waited, he didn't need to go early. Had he waited two or three seconds until the uh, until the first shot had been done, uh, until the first wave of revives had been done, there was a big kill to be had there. The Allies have uh, pushed out onto the crypt area. Axis support players make sure that the dynamite stays at yellow that is on that crypt. And now Clown will try to finish it off. Um, as Clown is occupied by Elsa, the dynamite will fade away. But it, the, ing the uh, lieutenant that was next to him tapped out, and uh, they move forward. Ian and Adetto did subscribe, Mel, and I think, as we already knew with Ian, that they're just superior humans. Um, <laughs> for doing so. Thank you so much, guys, for the subscribe, seriously. Three minutes to go, looking difficult for Dog, but uh, one dynamite 
start ch to change things. Oh, corpse also superior human. Panzerfaust winds up, doesn't connect with anyone on the crypt, and uh, the Axis side look well set up for this next dog assault. Support fire comes up and cleans house as we run out of allied bodies to revive. More coming up the stair, uh, more coming up the ladder in the shape of Sharky. Matter is waiting beneath as he will push out now, and you feel that Doc maybe needs something coming through spawn just to divert the uh, Roz side uh, as attention from those two ladders. Matter Support Fire does the job. Murky's Panzerfaust returns the favor as the two Panzers, or two former Panzers, go head to head. Allies do have bodies on the crypt now. Uh, they both are medics, though. No engineer yet, as uh, it will come in the shape of Clown, who's there, and he has med packs to boost. So the dynamite goes in and will blow on 1 minute and 35. It'll give them just about one run with the docks if they blow it up. Can they do it, Merle? I think the Axis should back off. I think they've definitely got a chance. So the, the Roz should just back off, give this up, set up in, well, I'd say set up in the courtyard, but they're going for this. They want to go for this defuse. Dynamite will be successfully de uh, blowing up. I chew my words. And Roz have uh, ignored Merlinator's advice. They've claimed the flag. Up. I oh, think okay. that's it. Unless they do the one of the best spawn pushes we've ever seen from Dog, they have to go spawn. FFE from Elsa does two of them and. That's not the start of the best spawn attack you've ever seen. Mini's MP40 follows up onto a third dark player. And uh, we are flat out of time. As Clown is going to revive Crumbs. And the two players begin to make their way down through the tavern. And they push in. As Clown will grab that flag before the spot fire can go off. 40 seconds left to go. If they get the gold, they're going to have to run the Axis spawn route. They're just running out of numbers as uh, Dog have Sharky coming through spawn. Sharky does pick himself up one kill. The gold is unoccupied now. Sharky has it. 26 seconds. I don't think he can go there fast enough, but he's going to run through the Axis spawn. Gets picked up in the back. Medics will come through. There are two medics there, but there's just surely not enough time. Objective is secured. And it's a dog's day for Crumbs and Co. As Roz take a clean sweep victory here in the grand final. Well, what have you to say? I would say it's 100% deserved. I think Bully was spot on. They, they did really well apparently against Roz because they made very light work of Dog. And I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Obviously, I think that the better team in the other game would have been Flower on paper. And then definitely the better team on paper would be Dog here. So... Really, really well played by uh, by both these teams. To be honest, having met Clown, I always thought he was a cat, but... <laughs> what would cat stand for? I don't know. Not good on village. <laughs> uh, I think they're going to play this out, but I don't know if you want to stick around for that or not. I will if you will, Mel. I don't mind. I can stick around. It's going to be like one one last round. If they do stick it out, I'm happy to. They're, they're subbing in Roar, I think. Give him his little uh, little run. He did actually pick up the objective in the last map, so it was he's got his little moment of fame. I was When he, when he picked it up, I was like, we haven't seen him. And I realized he actually had been subbed in. So. Yeah. So from, uh, from a dog perspective, they're playing for pride. Uh, how much do you know of how much those guys are, are still, you know, getting oh, I, any game time in? I, I would say not much at all. They might play other games from time to time. Like, they might play CSGO and stuff like this. They might, I think Sharky probably still has his, like, weekly um, hour or two on an ET public server. But that's about it. Um, RSW hasn't really been played for the last couple of years. It's pretty much... That's the state of the state of the scene at the moment. Well, to be expected, I guess. Not all art is appreciated. <laughs> um, 
the dark side push through. Murky does pick himself up a, a double panzer. Uh, and you'll see Roz having to successfully hold on to that tavern. And they reset themselves up once again. A good, you know, many thanks to Homie whilst we still have an audience here for, for putting on this and, and giving the giving the old dog a, a good run. I wonder how oh, many more dog, dog puns I can get out. Wait, you've got them all out. We've got them all out. Dog's dinner. Add that. <laughs> yeah, that Every dog good. has his day. Every dog has his day. Have you done the bone? Oh, Murky hits a four man. He wind up two times and third tie was a charm. Jockey matter, crumbs and res all say goodnight. And uh, like a dog to a bone, the pans are connected. Oh God. <laughs> I ask and you deliver. That's the way it goes. He's ready for another bite of the cherry. He gets it and uh, he has his dog treat that is clown and matter. <laughs> just, just keep it going, keep it going. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how they took that long. How can how can you get four man panzered and then two man panzered? It takes 20 seconds for that charge. So they just they were a bit too slow on trying to keep that push going. It does look like clowns trying to sneak towards short at the moment. Murky's had such a great spawn that he's about to run out of panzers. And he his final panzer shot is a three man. As uh, Dog will be frustrated, to say the least. They are, they are uh, being humiliated at this point. This, like I said, this is Murky, who I would not really say is a Panzer, so he's doing a really good job. I think Village is probably one of the easier maps to Panzer on, but he's been, you know, he hit some shots on, on Frostbite, hit some shots on, on Beach as well, so. Uh, he's been a, a vital part. For their success for sure especially on defense h2o make sure that sharky can't push through short and uh, the rest of the dog side line up outside and they wait for this next assault as uh, clown will rejoin he is back from the dog house you might say as uh, they wait for this airstrike to clean up and now we'll push in. Murky might... I think Murky's charged and ready to go as they wait outside. There's Murky's shot. And actually, this time, there's nothing to connect with. And, uh... I've noticed that allies are not running a panzer, which is kind of unusual. You generally would put the panzer in, even if you've got that one frag. Even if you just aimed it at where the, you know, the middle room, just to try and take out their panzer, the, the obvious spot. You know, it does make it a little bit easier to attack this tavern. And right, it's like so far, they've just been running into this brick wall defense. I still would like to see Roz push out. And they, it does look like Parcher's getting a little bit adventurous. He is out of the trees. Yeah, I'd like to see him. There's, there we go. Yeah, there's no need to be sat in the tavern. You're, you're, you're controlling the same size bottleneck. You can buy yourself a little bit of time. Although you could get a strike as well. Um... Sharky pushes out, and it will be uh, Sharky to lead the charge with Medic pushing him up, and uh, his MP40 will connect in the end. Murky picks off Clown, and now Sharky just makes a dart down the left. He wants that flag. He's not going to get it just yet. Not without a fight. Crumbs' ACP helps him along the way. On the right-hand side, getting a kill onto Murky. But Sharky and Matter and Crumbs all going down. Reinforcements come in the shape of Raz as he comes down the left. Um, I think they should have it. That's they one will finally well. claim it. Mini's out on full spawn. They have got the flag. It's taken them five minutes to break that down. That's a really, really good time in defense. And that's what I said about, about Roz. They've got that... The solid aimers, pretty good crossfire, so they should they should have a really good tavern defense. And Murky's been hitting the shots as well, so just making it a bit easier for them. There is a push coming through the spawn side, and is an engineer. Murky does manage to take him down, so and he's out for full, so no engineer for 30 seconds. Ouch. FFP goes down on the ladder. Harper's Murky's Panther, a grenade and artillery make sure that they're 
spam kills to wipe out three dog players and it's a dog eat dog world out there near the crypt. I can't take credit for that one. Someone said that one in chat. <laughs> I was really trying to hope to use that on a team kill, but uh, this didn't happen. They just <laughs> They've all been good though. They've all been good. Oh, it looks like they're going aggressive in the courtyard. They're going very aggressive towards the spawn. I guess there's no real, like you say, there's no real risk. It'd be cool to just try and get on the spawn. You want to just, you know, rub their faces in it a little bit. That's kind of how you got to play. You got to dominate, and that's uh, not not the sort of play style we've been seeing from Roz, but it's been effective at, to say the least. A lot of people going short from the dog side. There's, uh, we'll see Clown leading his team through towards the crypt. Clown gets picked off. He is the engineer that they don't get the gib. As uh, Murky goes in, Clown will now keep pushing, and they're going to lead this dog to water. But can they teach him to plant a dynamite? As there's still one pesky Axis player around there. It's Murky. Murky waiting to isolate Clown, but he can't quite do it. He's going to get in there. Reinforcements coming in the shape of Mini. Dynamite planted on the Crypt. And an Axis Engineer now will go there. There's an uh, Allied coming up from the back, but he won't be able to stop it. And uh, H2O has got control of that Dynamite. And it will be defused. And insult added to injury with no flag to back it up. Sharky has got a strike down on the spawn, but it's not going to connect. I think they would have probably seen the smoke at that point. The flag has been picked up by the allies, but they they only have two and a half minutes to get this done. And it hasn't looked too good so far. Um, they've had the opportunity. They, they planted twice, or at least once, and it has been diffused. Uh, I'd say they probably got one more good push to come. And Roz are just... Just on cloud nine right now. They're loving it, and you can sort of see when they, when they're shooting, everything's hitting. That's just confidence. Yeah, I think they realise that their opponent's bark is worse than their bite. As uh, they continue to try and get this flag back and just be as annoying as possible. Mini is there now. I think he's got another player to help him as well, and they take down the lieutenant who was trying to get it. Um, and they push out with 90 seconds to go kind of impossible for them to do it now with no dynamite yeah definitely i mean they're gonna make their way maybe towards the spawn side but Roz are definitely gonna be top dog and hey gonna get that, gonna get that <laughs> i've done the pedigree i did the pedigree i've done top dog it's not too bad <laughs> i'm surprised that uh, not on your level though for sure i'm just surprised they couldn't fetch the gold uh, uh, Well, after the first game, you could say that Roz were let off the leash. Oh, yeah. That's a goal. That, that's a good one, too. Um, but with puns escaping... <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, it's going to be a full hold. And like I said before, Roz have been playing really, really well. I think... It probably helped them playing against Slower, like just such a difficult opponent. Um, in Dog's game, they just had a 4 0 victory. It might have been just, you know, easy, easy win. Whereas Roz were fully warmed up. Obviously, after winning that sort of game, you're going to be really, really happy about it and you're going to want to take advantage being in the final one. Let's see what they can do on their last attack. I'd like to see like a really solid attack and just see uh, what Dog can do to hold them off. Yeah, this Ruz team have kind of grown as the day has gone on. They've now played a lot of RTCW today, uh, and they look like they they look very well versed at this point. And dominating in the stats, eighty six frags to thirty seven, and we have Mercu again with twenty two. I think he hit a four, then a two, then a three, which massively padded it out. Five point nine k damage. He nearly got he got over half the damage of the uh, the allied team by himself. Very, very uh, oh, that, dominating display. The dog side disconnected. Well, they left. Two players gone. They're not going to give you what you wanted. They have. Had enough. They're in the doghouse. They've had enough.
<laughs> you still got. You still had a pun left in you. I, 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 I tip my fedora to that one. I tip it. That was good. Merlinator, it's been a, a pleasure. It has Anyone been still listening, make sure you subscribe to Merlinator's channel. It has been a joy to have you on here, honestly. And I'd, I'd love to have you on here every now and again. Every, you know, I know you're a busy, man. But every, well, every couple of months, we could do an ET game or something if you were up for it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a reminder of, of yesteryear. So be glad to come back. Right now, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And, and a big thanks to Homie as, as well for putting oh, this all together. Oh, big thanks to Homie. He was definitely the, uh, the passion behind getting this done. My Homie. <laughs> uh.